Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to define the object information. There are times when we need to call object information to inform some of our maintenance decisions. This may be in deciding whether a maintenance task needs to be performed, or just for the sake of having a glimpse of the status of an object. The object information is usually associated with equipment, functional location, notification or order. To customize object information we go to SPRO then to IMG then we scroll down to plant maintenance and customer service then to master data in plant maintenance and customer service basic settings and then to define object information keys so we go ahead and open that and then our PM is going to be our selection so we double click on it and now we have the change view here and the first selection that we're going to make is under reference for notification and class selection. We want information for the object to be displayed. So that's the selection we make. If we needed the information for the structure, entire structure, then we would select structure. So in our case here we're going to select object. Then we're going to enter the number of days to be selected in the information system. So we have 999 over there, so we just leave it as 999. And then we go down to notification selection and automatic display. So this is what we want displayed and if we want our outstanding notifications to be displayed then we make that selection and complete notifications to be displayed we make that selection and then again we also set the number of days here so moving down to classification views and display if we want our characteristics to be displayed then we go ahead and select uh, check characteristics. So there are times that you want your object information to be displayed automatically. If that is the case then you go ahead and select automatically that's for automatic display. If not then you deselect it. Then you can go ahead and save so that is how we define the object information. So in the next video we are going to be looking at status management. Uh, that is system status and user status. And then we'll see how it fits in who, to what we have covered so far. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.